Let's continue working with our number pad project and let's make a math game out of it. So to start by modifying our UI. We'll add another button and let's use a greater sign for the name. We'll use this button for submitting. Let's change the color of our clear button. Move the position of a red button to the other corner. Let's add a new button. Let's change the color of this button. Now we have a new button. Let's rename default to display. Let's go inside and start editing. We will need another label to display our problem. So let's duplicate this label. Let's move them apart so we can display two lines in our display. Move it by 0.5, rename it to problem, as input an example problem. So this is what we have right now. Let's add the logic for submitting. First, let's add outputs, right and wrong, so we can emit a signal to those outputs whenever we get a right answer or a wrong answer. What we wanna do when we get a wrong answer is display a red X. To do that, let's copy a label, set text to X, and let's use a red color and rename it to wrong. Now let's add a state, and we'll use two states, on and off. First one's gonna be off, since we want it to be off by default, and the second one's gonna be on. Connect our label to on and our wrong signal to on. Now let's add a delay. Let's set delay to one second, and after delay, let's connect it to off. So what this will do is turn on the X for one second and then turn it off. If we got it right, let's add a point. For that, we will use an add point node and let's switch it to use points. Let's display our score in UI now. Add a default font and let's set function to score and display current points. Go back to display and let's add the script. In our script, we will need to add three more variables. We'll add a P label variable for storing reference to our problem label, an I label for storing reference to our label, and an answer variable where we will be storing the answer. In our start function, let's connect the references to our labels and generate our problem. Let's create new function called genProblem and create two random integers, A and B. Then store the sum of A and B into answer and set our problem label text to display our problem. Value of A plus value of B equals. Now in our signal function, let's add a listener for our submit button. If value of our signal is greater than, we go inside, if value equals answer, then we emit signal right to true. Set value to empty string and generate a new problem. If value does not equal answer, we emit signal wrong. And last thing, let's replace the search for our label with a reference. One more thing that we want to do is shift our wrong label by one point in the X direction. Let's click play. We get our generated problem. Let's put in the answer. Click next. We got our point and we got our new problem. We put in the wrong answer and we get an error. Clear, put the right answer and there we have it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications when we post new videos.